Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and connect the neat Worker Bee condenser microphone to the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. This is an extremely high value, low price, high quality uh, microphone home studio setup. It's great for podcasting, voiceover work, or general home studio use as well. This is a setup that I'm currently recommending uh, to people who ask me personally just because of how high quality and affordable everything is. On that note, if you do want pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, please check out the links in the description below. We have links to everything that you see here. So we're gonna show you how to set up, connect, and then we're gonna do a test recording in GarageBand and guide you through that whole process so you'll be able to hear how this sounds together. So first of all, we're gonna connect uh, the audio interface to the computer using a USB cable here. So the, the back of the Focusrite Scarlett is USB-C. We connect that. And luckily our computer is USB-C as well. So that'll just go straight into it there. You'll see this unit power up, all the lights come on. So next we want to connect the microphone to the audio interface. So I'll start by connecting the XLR cable to the microphone. Perfect. Then I'll connect this to the first microphone input on the Scarlett 2i2. Now, this is a condenser microphone, and as we all know, condenser microphones do require 48 volts of phantom power in order to work. So I'm just going to turn on this 48 volt uh, phantom power button here. Okay, next I'm going to plug in my headphones. I want to make sure that I can hear everything. And then I'm going to go over to my computer and do some setup over there. On my computer, I just opened GarageBand here. We're going to start a new project. It's going to ask us if we want to use the Scarlett 2i2, and we do want to use it. And we want to record a microphone from input 1 on the Scarlett 2i2. We'll hit Create. And then we'll hit Command or Alt-T, and then we'll turn on this Record Enable. We'll click that away. That allows us to arm the track so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so back on the Scarlett 2i2, what we want to do here is we want to speak into the microphone. As we do that, we're going to turn up this gain knob until we see some green flickering. You do want to see that green flickering when you're speaking. You don't want it to be too solid. You just want it to be uh, flickering like that. If it goes all the way up to yellow here, then that's when it's hitting minus 6. And if it goes red, then it's hitting 0, which is bad. That means it's peaking. So somewhere around the 75% mark probably will work for us. Looking over to GarageBand here, it looks like we're getting a healthy level there. I'm just going to back it down just a little bit. So now I'm going to hit record in GarageBand. And we have our recording in GarageBand there that you can see and hear now. So that's how you'd set up this microphone with this interface into GarageBand. And this is what it sounds like when you make a sample recording uh, with this setup here. So we're going to stop the recording. And one other note that when you're doing a recording like this in GarageBand, when you hit share and you hit export song to disk, it will automatically normalize the audio for you. So it'll bump it up a little bit uh, if you did get a little bit quiet there. But you have all your other mixing options as well to do it how you want. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any other questions about this microphone or this audio interface, if there's another video that you want to see us do in the future, please let us know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.